So, I was wrong. I, well, I wouldn't say I was wrong, but what I had imagined was a little bit different than this. I literally just put out a video pretty much just talking about the new hero that's coming out, the new update that was supposed to be end of March pretty much, or beginning of March I should say, but no! Here it is! So I had to get out of bed, 4.30 in the morning, and uh, let's go over this because we got a saint shop. Uh, I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with the shop and everything, but this time around, I gotta say, there's a lot of options to get here, including the hero. You basically get this hero directly from this shop. First of all, look at the options. That is... A lot. That's... That's a lot of options. And honestly, like, I want to... I want to be the one that literally just buys everything. So, like, you know what? Let's, let's just go ahead one by one. Let's go down the line one by one. Um, so you are going to need Athena's Blessings in order to purchase any of these things. And of course you get them through a laundry of different things. Daily Login, Solo Event, Hell Event, Monster Kills, Kingdom Clash, Lord's Cup, etc, etc. Basically you breathe and you get some of these. Here's the thing though. There is going to be a new skin um, for your castle which is called the Sagittarius Cloth. Um, that looks pretty freaking awesome. I don't know how that's gonna... How is that gonna work as a castle skin? Like, that doesn't even look like half a castle. How, where's the prisoner gonna be in its head? Like, I'm a little confused by that, but... We know, we know that it, the skins just look however you want. Um, of course you get the 14 day, but honestly, don't, don't waste your, your, uh, Athena's blessings on the 14 day either. You get the permanent one, or just don't get any, because there's way too many options this, this go around to be messing around with stuff that's just gonna go away, okay? So honestly, 14 day skin, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. Uh, and then we get to the big boy, Pegasus. Um, I believe he reminds me of um, uh, the werewolf guy. What, what, what the hell is, is his name? I don't remember. But I know he's infantry attack, infantry defense, and army max HP. Which I believe it's exactly what the werewolf is. Um, so as far as that, he's not really any better than the werewolf. But honestly, that's okay. That's okay because I thought that he was going to be like a 10% HP defense and attack. And being like a passive thing. But so I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Um, his look. He actually looks okay. He it's, he should. It's how he should look. I honestly thought that he was going to be the Sagittarius. Um, Seiya. Because they teased the, the, uh, the Sagittarius cloth. In the trailer. Like big. That's literally the only thing they teased. But I guess it's just going to be a completely different thing that we'll, we'll get to later. Um, and then the hero skills. I was going over the hero skills. This dude revives like Death Knight. So he is going to be uh, like a hero that kind of goes to your back lines and revives after a while. Not only that, Pegasus Meteor Fist uh, attacks 10 times in a large area, meaning a huge AoE. And it hits 10 times for 589 physical damage, meaning let's just let's just round up and say about 6,000 damage. That is actually really good. I definitely see this guy being very good in Colosseum. So yeah, he's a he's probably the must-have thing from this shop. If there's anything you need to get, you need to work on Pegasus. Also, I don't like the name Pegasus. You should. It should just be Seiya. I don't understand why they actually name him Pegasus. I don't know. I mean, I know he's the Pegasus uh, bronze cloth, but like, that's his armor. That's not... Anyway. Um, here's here's the thing, though. You need 320 of these medals. And it costs 120 each. Now, don't worry. Let me go ahead and do the math for you here. Um, if my calculator ever wants to pop up here. So, if it's 120 times 320, you're going to need 38,400 
Athena's blessings in order to get him to gold. Now, I think the first one here, you actually get 10 medals to unlock him. Yes, you do. Pegasus, you get 10 medals. So you unlock him pretty much for free. Can I, can I unlock him? Jeez. Let me go ahead and hire him. And there he is. Um, his... Okay, that looks pretty sweet. Um, so, yeah. You're, you're gonna need the 320. You get to unlock him for free. So make sure you do that. And also, there's this thing here where... I don't know if you're actually gonna be able to get some from it. Um, but yeah, we, we know how this works. You, you, you get enough of these probably by monster hunting, etc. And then you get to, uh, upgrade them. At the end, you might probably get them as a Sagittarius Gold Cloth. This is probably where you're gonna get them, uh, all the way maxed out. But that's, that's not really that big a deal. Let's go back to the Saint Shop because this is really where everything is happening, right? Then, of course, you have a lot of emotes. I am going to try to grab all of them because my emote game is kind of weak right now. So I'm going to try to grab all of them. We have Athena Ponders. Okay. Say yes, defeat. I can see this one being used a lot when you take like a big hit or something like that. That one's going to be used a lot. Sheepish Shea, Seiya. Seiya's Approval. That one's definitely going to be used a lot. But these you can only purchase. Um, if you are free to play... I have a video on the Google Play Opinion Rewards where you can actually get uh, some points for this and you can use that to purchase this. So even if you are free to play, if you're using the Google Opinion Rewards, you can get these credits that you can then use to actually purchase these things. So if you want a way to actually like spend $5, do that and you'll have enough to get all of these. But um Shiryu's Resolve, Hyoga's Refusal, I can see that one being used a lot, Shunt's Tears, yeah, that one, and Cheering Iki. So basically, all of the Saints uh, uh, got uh, one of these emotes, so that's pretty good. Then we go to the actual Sagittarius things. Um, the Sagittarius Armor, I, I saw this and I'm like, oh my god, but it, it's newer player stuff, so it's not that big a deal. The Sagittarius armor, though, is really nice, especially for you free-to-play players that don't have a lot of Monster Hunt gear, etc. Check this out. Sagittarius armor, Monster Hunt travel speed, 3%. Monster Hunt damage boost, 4%. Max energy, plus 500. And then we got food production and gold production, so it's very, very nice. The bow, less so. It's got a little travel speed, some production, resource gathering, and capacity, but... It, it's it's okay it's for newer players this is great but like for the higher end players even if you're not higher end you're probably not going to use much of this and then you of course you have the sagittarius wings which is the accessory which funny enough you can only get one but if it's an accessory why wouldn't you let me get at least three you know what i mean but uh, whatever it gives you some construction speed research speed and then just some resource production um which is which is okay I really would have liked it for this to be three, but this is for newer players. So if you're a newer player and you're not really going to be able to grab any of like the bigger things like the hero, etc. You can think about doing stuff like this. You can probably get enough uh, for this just from the daily logins. Um, and then the avatars. I don't really know what the av like where are the avatars going to be? I don't really understand this, but it says a limited edition Saint Seiya event avatar obtained from the Saint shop during the event. So you can get each of the uh, of the Saints avatars except Seiya, it looks like. I actually don't see a Seiya avatar. Did I miss it? Is there one up here? No, these are not avatars. These are literally just... Uh... Yeah, I don't see a Seiya avatar, which is weird. You have a Saori avatar, which is Athena. Hmm, I gotta really look more into these avatars and how it's all gonna work because I know that the update uh, is gonna be including something to do with avatars and being able to uh, uh, upgrade them and things like that. At least that's what I, I heard. So we'll see how all of that works. And then once you get to the bottom here, you get Mystic Pegasus, which is pretty much a 50% uh, carpet. You can get 30 of them, 3,000 uh i would say grab it but a lot of people are going to be working on the hero so hero first hero first and then you got meteor boots which is the 75 percent boots um you can get 300 of them that is freaking awesome 
that is freaking awesome. And then, of course, if you if for some reason somehow you have leftovers at the end of this, then you get the three minute speed ups. So yeah. Now, it says here Athena's blessings times thirty. Get from daily login event, solo hell event, monster kills, kingdom clash, lore cups, blah blah blah. You get thirty for a dollar. So if you do the math, if you if you go all the way up to a hundred and it stays where you don't lose any value, for a hundred dollars you get three thousand. So if you only buy Athena's blessings to get the hero up to max, it'll probably cost you about a thousand dollars, just right off the bat. And that's just assuming, because I'm not gonna buy this for a dollar, but I'm assuming that after the dollar you go up to five, then twenty, and blah 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 blah, right? I would not suggest doing this right off the bat. I would wait until the end of this. Because take a look at this. Time left. It's at 17 days. So technically this is an 18 day event, right? But you can do solo events for some of the... Well, I don't see any here, which is weird. Didn't it say solo events? Pretty sure it says solo events. Yeah, it says solo events. So I don't know why it's not included. But the hell event does have them. There's the saint chest which is essentially the thing that you're going to be chasing for the next 18 days once this hits. And this has a chance to give you up, upwards of 8 Athena Blessings per chest. And if you do a Hell Event all the way to its, till it's done, you can get 6 chests. So out of, out of one Hell Event, you can, you can potentially get 30, 40 of these Athena's Blessings. Or like 10. So it's a lot of RNG, unfortunately, there. I don't think that the 24-hour... Yeah, the 24-hour challenge doesn't seem to have them. Uh, and also, I don't know if, since this is a new account, I don't know if you're actually going to be able to get more chests the higher level your castle is. I guess we'll see, because I don't really have a, uh, a very high account for uh, the test server. Um, but yeah, that is that is the saint, the saint shop. Um, first thing I would say is get the pe Pegasus. He is the number one thing that you want to get. Uh, if it's going to be 38,400 and you have 18 days to get it, if, you, if we divide that by 18, basically you need to get about 2,133 <laughs> 2, uh, of these Athena's Blessings a day. To get Pegasus. So I'm thinking that, that that's probably not going to happen. And then and then you also have to factor in all the other stuff that you probably want to get. Like the, the, the avatars, the emotes. The emotes are not that big a thing. And, and the Sagittarius cloth, probably not that big a thing either. Because uh, I'm sure this is going to have some stats. I'm almost positive. But Pegasus... It's the big one here. He is the, the biggie, right? So once this event starts, start hunting monsters, start doing hell events, solo events. Just if you really want to get everything and spend as little as possible, this will be the time to do it. I was actually going to go ahead and start boosting troops tomorrow, but I'm going to hold off until this update hits. That way I can pretty much get every single troop training hell event. I'm going to try to do all the hell events that I can. Solo events, all of that. Because, yeah. Um, let me see if there's anything going to gonna be going on that might help with the uh, the amount of actual uh, uh, badges that you get. So, the first time you log into the event, you will get 10 Pegasus Seiya Hero Medals as an event login gift. We've gotten that. Okay. Uh, this is pretty much for the whole duration. The Gilded Sanctuary is here. Upgrade Saint Seiya to get prices. Um, I really wonder if you're going to be able to get anything of value from that, but maybe not. Um, the Pegasus Seiya Limited Challenge Descends. Clear stages to get Saint Badges, Pegasus Seiya Hero Medals, and Sagittarius Equipment. Burn your Cosmo down. I don't see a Limited Challenge, unless I just don't see it here, but I don't see a Limited Challenge. Maybe maybe I'm just um, too low level, but I actually like that because I wonder how many medals they're going to give you off of this. That will lower the cost at the end of the day. They'll probably lower it by 20 medals 
I am hoping maybe even more. Uh, and then you have the Saint Shop, which, yeah. Monster kills, max 20 Saint Chests per day from Monster Kills. But, if you think about it, that can easily give you probably about 100 of, uh, of these Athena's Blessings. Which, again, it's not going to be enough if you're trying to get the hero. So, yeah. A lot of hell events and a lot of things are going to go down um, if you're trying to get this hero maxed out because once it's gone i'm pretty sure the way that these collabs work from i from my experience in other games that do collabs as well once they're gone they're gone so basically you have 18 days to max this hero out if you don't oh well i really hope that's not the case but that's what's been my experience, so yeah, there's a lot of things to purchase. If you somehow finish uh, Seiya all the way up to gold and you have the emotes, definitely try to get these boots and these carpets because there's a lot to grab here, so yeah. I'm excited, but I know it's going to be... It's going to be a grind. It's going to be a grind, uh, but yeah. Let me know what you guys are most excited about. I'm most excited about the actual hero, and uh, I'm going to see if I can possibly finish him off. We'll see. Um, but yeah, appreciate you guys for watching, and until later, bye.